Swallow my pride, no one on left's gonna separate us. Sit it on your lap, I'm massage your back anytime. You it's your girl Tasha coming at you guys with a fragrance and hygiene video. I've never done one of these. So what prompted me to do this is as you guys know in my last video with my makeup tutorial i kind of introduced layering scents when i was getting ready for work with you guys and one of my subbies was like you should make a fragrance video never thought about doing one of these so we're going to talk about fragrance and hygiene we're going to talk about how to smell good all day long and we're going to talk about layering scents so if this is something that you're interested in keep on watching girl if you're new hey boo my name is tasha i focus on fashion beauty and lifestyle mainly fashion plus size fashion apple shape fashion for my apple shape girls don't forget to follow me at tasha.bstyles on instagram okay so the first part is going to be hygiene i'm going to go over this part really quickly but for me this is where my layering starts and layering scents if you don't know how to layer scents it's kind of like a it's like a science to it so i'm going to pretty much walk you guys into i'm going to explain this to you guys as easy as possible i'm going to make it really simple because i don't want you guys to get like too overwhelmed with it or feel like that you have to go out and buy a whole lot of fragrances i'm also going to show you how to get your bang for your buck too so first thing with my shower routine i use dove soap okay and then after i wash up twice with my dove soap then I like to use the tea tree sugar scrub. So this one is in the Coco Colada. Um, I get these from Target. This, I really don't care what the scent is for this, but this is part of my layering process with the scent because all of these have like different scents to them. So, but I do like to stay kind of neutral with it because I need it all to work with whatever perfume I'm putting on. So exfoliate want to have soft skin and then this also starts your layering process so after i wash up twice with my dove soap and then i, I forgot to bring my um summer ease feminine wash but i use that for my private and i use a dove everywhere else then as a topper for my third wash i like to go in with the bed and body works soap so what i do is Whatever the soap that I have, that's the one that I'm using until it runs out and then I match that with a perfume that's gonna work with that layer um, until this is gone. So right now I'm with Black Tie from Bath & Body Works. Now Black Tie is a masculine scent. I love this scent in the cologne. I love it as a um, air freshener and I love it as a body wash, okay? So Black Tie, does it have the ingredients on here or the notes? Let me see real quick. Let me scan through. Scan, 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 scan. No, I don't see the notes on here, but this is a masculine scent. Um, It has like, it smells like a really good men's cologne. So I also like unisex scents and I like sweet scents. So right now we're working in my unisex scent. So if you smelled the candle before or the air freshener or the, um, wallflower the soap smells exactly like that okay so wash with your regular soap first if you use a feminine wash for your private hit that with that then use this as your topper for when you're about to get out the shower after you do your exfoliation okay so once you get out the shower now for me as far as being able to smell good all day I realized that once I switched over to using the spray deodorant versus using the stick, that I feel fresher longer. So I use the spray deodorant over the stick deodorant. And then I also use the Summer Eve's Feminine, just like in my cracks and crevices, okay? Don't get too crazy with this, okay? Don't get too crazy with this. But this helps me still feel fresh all day long. Now, the other thing that I cannot show y'all this part of hygiene is I switched from using cotton underwear to using mesh underwear. The ones that I've been using for a long time is the Fit Me brand. I want to say it's by either Fruit of Balloon or Hanes. I'll put it in the video once I find out what it is for sure. But I use the Fit Me ones and they fit, they feel like 
stockings like that's the material of them so when i first got them i was like oh this is too free this is too free but once my body got used to them because it's way more breathable than like cotton underwear that's what i use in combination with this and i i'm fresh all day fresh all day like i can come home and give it up fresh all day okay so let me get into the next part y'all because i'm acting crazy already <laughs> okay so now we're out the shower we didn't did all that spray down okay now when it comes to the next layer right so if you don't want to invest in like a whole bunch of like lotions and all that stuff then get you some baby oil gel okay it doesn't matter which scent this one is just a regular one so it doesn't matter what scent, but oil helps your perfumes stick to you way better and they last longer. So I usually put the baby oil gel just on my legs and my feet, and then I'll do lotion like on my arms. So the scent that I'm using right now is Into the Night. So Into the Night and Black Tide pairs really well with each other. So this one has, what's the scent? Raspberry Noir amber crystals, velvet rose, petals, cream, creamy patchouli, mocha musk. So I, this, the musk in this balances really well with whatever the masculine scent is in here, which I think it does have some musk in here. So these two pair well together. So think about what your overall scents are. If you are a unisex person, then I would say get a lotion and a spray that has musk and vanilla in it because it works with pretty much everything that falls in that umbrella if you are more of like a spicy woodsy person then you want to get like a lotion or a spray that has like amber in it that works with everything and if you are a sweet person like myself then you need something that's like kind of sweet so this is the first layer of getting your sense to last okay now let's talk about what i have on today baby because when i tell you i was bringing all the boys to the yard today i was bringing all the boys in the yard today when i went into work they were like what the hell do you have on so let's talk about today's combo so i do have this this and i did the squirrel like i told you guys so boom i told you guys in my makeup video that i got this oil vanita from the Boost Supply store. So this has like a sweet undertone to it, but it has like a little bit of that masculine scent to it. Of course, you know, the Boost Supply store oils do not have the things in it. So like I told you guys, see if your store has this. I don't know if all of them have it. Yeah, it doesn't have the ingredients on it. But it has like that mask undertone with like a little sweetness to it. So that is my next layer. And the perfume that I want to talk about, I got a sample of this, but I already ordered the big bottle. So I got a sample of the Santel. You guys are not going to even see this. The Santel 33 from Le Labo. When I tell y'all, this perfume is worth the hype this perfume is worth the hype so if you are interested in the santel 33 you can go to the Le label website and get the sample for seven dollars before committing to the big bottle because i think the bottle is probably like this size a little bit bigger than this is like 90 dollars, and then the bigger bottle is like 215 i got the bigger bottle okay but this fire I said, I still smell like this from this morning. Yes, yes, yes. So what I end up mixing this with is one of my old favorites. So this is Carolina Herrera um, Bad Boy Cologne. This is not unisex as far as like it's not um, featured as a unisex sense, but it gives unisex vibes. So this cologne smells so bomb and it pairs really, really well with the Santel 33 and the oil that I just showed you guys and everything else that 
I showed you so far. This and that together, so bomb. So the Carolina Herrera has like a little spiciness to it and it's a little sweet. It has like spice, it's a little sweet, a little musk, a little bit of vanilla. It has like a little bit of tobacco in it as well, but it smells so good, so intoxicating. Another thing too, when you're doing your perfume, stop rubbing it because you break up the chemistry of it. Just spray it and let it dry on you, okay? Stop rubbing it in. Let's get into the next sense that you should pick up that smells really bomb and that will work with everything that I've already shown you, okay? Okay, you guys, so the next thing I want to talk about that is very similar to the Carolina Herrera is the YSL Libre. This is another perfume that everyone talks about when they do fragrance videos. Now, YSL Libre is a very warm scent. I will say that if you like this, you will love the um, Carolina, the Carolina Herrera uh, Bad Boy because they're very reminiscent of each other. This actually is more so like the female version of that cologne, but this one is very warm. I don't reach for this one that much. And when I do wear it, I do wear it like on date nights. This is a very rich smelling perfume. Um, it's warm with like a lot of amber notes in it. It has like a little musk to it. Um, but yeah, but I don't reach for it that much. As you guys can see, like how much I still have in the bottom. I've had this for a while. I don't dislike it, but it's not my go-to. Like if I had to choose between these two because they're so similar, I will go for this one because it has like a little bit more sweetness to it because I love sweet smelling perfumes um, over musk. So this one, date night, like I know I'm going out for like two hours top from coming home. I will pull this. If I'm be out for a good little minute with somebody, then I'm wearing good boy. Okay. So let me, I haven't even smelled this in a while. Yeah. It's like, it gives the same thing, but like I said, date night, rich vibes. It's a good perfume, but it's just not, not my go-to. Okay. So that's that one. Now, one of my favorite perfumes is the Baccarat Rouge. And when I tell you guys, I ran through that perfume, like it cost $20. I ran through it like it cost $20. So as you guys know, last year I had a deal with the Dossier where I was a brand ambassador. So, and I still have the Ambery Saffron, which is the dupe to Baccarat. And the notes in this, the top notes are Saffron, Orange Blossom, Middle notes is jasmine, plum, and cedar wood. And the base notes is oak moss, balsam, and amber. This is very ambery. This is very ambery. Okay. So Baccarat is one of those perfumes. This one and the original, the original is a perfume that you do not really have to layer with at all because this is going to give enough by itself. Because with this one and the original one, once you take your clothes off, put it in the dirty clothes hamper, your hamper is going to be reeking of the smell until you wash your clothes. So this one, you're pretty much good without having to layer. But if you do want to lay with this as far as like a lotion and maybe like a body mist from Bath and Body Works, I like to use Murray Gold, which Murray Gold um, has amber undertones in it. So it pairs really well with this one. My other favorite from Dossier is Florian So Coconut, which is a dupe to Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, which is another one of my favorite perfumes that I burnt up like it cost $20. <laughs> okay. So, and as you guys can see how much I got left. Okay. I, this is like my signature smell. Um, so the notes in this is cardamine, pistachio, bergamot, which is one of the notes that I love. It always lasts for me. Um, middle notes is yingling, tuberose, and jasmine. And then the base, again, is cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. So now that I'm using um, this coconut scrub, like these two will pair really well together 
as I'm layering. And then the lotion that pairs really good with this from Bath & Body Works is called Hawaii, Hawaiian something. It smells just like this. I have to look it up and then run it across the screen for you guys. But this is a dupe again to Tom Ford So they Blanc. The other perfume that I love that has like a sweet note to it is the Burberry Blush. And this is a scent that works well with Jasmine, no, Japanese Cherry Blossom from Bath & Body Works um, if you want to layer with it. Also, the body oil, Sex on the Beach from the Beach Supply Store. I think everyone may have that one in there. Pairs really, real, really, really well with this. This is a sweet smelling perfume. Very sweet, very floral, but more on the sweet side. Like it's very sweet. So if you like a sweet smell, then you would love Burberry Blush. And then another perfume that the girls are dying for that I'm also burning up, okay, which is the Valentino Donna. As you guys can see, she gets plenty of play. I'm just, I haven't worn it in a while. Let me see. Okay, so Donna is sweet. Donna is sweet. She definitely has vanilla in her. She has a little jasmine. Vanilla, jasmine. And I can't think of the other notes. I want to say that she has like a little bit of cedar wood in her but this is like a sweet floral that's not overly sweet and floral like it's very grown it's very sexy um but again it works well with a sweeter smelling lotion or like a, a lotion that has like vanilla in it um i try to stay like with the vanilla tones because it works well with a lot of different um perfumes and another scent that's on my list of being one of my favorites is the Bon Bon by um, Richter Rolf. And this is the Pastel, which this is another floral sweet scent as well. I would say that this and Burberry Blush are very similar in smell to each other, but this one is like a little bit more intense and this one lasts um, longer than the Burberry Blush. But again, it works well with the Japanese um, Cherry Blossom Lotion from Bath & Body Works. And one of my favorites, if I had to pick one perfume, because this is a perfume that I have purchased over and over and over again, this is one of my other signature smells, is the Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Like, I love this perfume. I love this perfume. I haven't sprayed her in a while. This is definitely on like the warmer side. It's like a warm floral. It does have like cardamine, jasmine, and vanilla in it. It's on the warmer side of the floral notes but I love this. So this will actually still work well with Into the Night lotion if you have this one or if you have the warm vanilla lotion from Bath & Body Works, it will work well with that. This one will probably work better with this oil because it's not as sweet um, as the Sex on the Beach. Sex on the Beach is sweet like um, candy sweet. And then I only have a few more to go through so i love the replica lazy um sunday morning and the under the lemon trees by replica these two actually pair really really well together another sweet floral sound i say sound another sweet floral scent but like on the warmer side of being sweet it's like not overly powering but these two work really really well with each other i always say get the rolling balls before you commit to 
buying the bigger bottle just to see how like it lasts on you and how it pairs with other things that you have before you invest in a bigger bottle but i love both but the one that i love the most is under the lemon tree so i think i'm going to buy the big bottle of under the lemon tree and then probably get another roll of all of this but under the lemon tree does have like a lemon like undertone to it um it smells really clean both of these smell like really really clean but it has like a clean floral note in there if you understand what i'm saying <laughs> and then the last one is the la vie estelle bell from lancome i thought i was gonna love this one but it's like okay to me like it's like okay like it has like a it has like some tuberose in it it's again like that warm floral side but this one doesn't pair really well with a lot of my stuff and i don't really reach for it i've had this for a long time um but if you do have the uh la vie la belle from lancome then i feel like the japanese cherry blossom goes with this as well and then the last one that I want to talk about is the Ness Black Tulip. And this one is a warm floral as well. And I think that this will go with, I think this will pair really, really well too with the Santel 33. Because this has like a, it has like a little musk in it, a little bit of vanilla, it's like a smoky like a smoky floral scent so i feel like this will go good with like a lot of my masculine scents but i do wear this one quite often so that is all for my scents and how it lasts all day by smelling fresh and i did not mean to make this video so long but i love scent i love perfume so let me know in the comments you guys what perfumes do you have already that i've showed you guys let me know what you're thinking about getting and we're getting ready to start doing the vlogs y'all because things are starting to move okay so y'all know that um she's moving to texas okay so things are about to start happening so y'all about to start getting some vlogs i'm going to try to do some holes in between but i may not get holes for like a good little minute because things are going to get busy 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 um so see you guys in the next video let me know down below oh and to my subby that messaged me about the shaper i messaged you back okay boo i need you to respond to my comment to you or I'm going to have to move on to the next person and get your shape away, girl. So, check the last, your post, your comment on my last thing. Okay? So, see y'all in the next video. Bye.